Hi, I'm Rabbi Alon Ferency of Heska Middle Synagogue in Knoxville, Tennessee. Speaking to you with a little delivery of Torah and study before Shabbat, getting you ready to think about Parshat Noach, the Parsha that deals with the stories of Noah, his ark, and the Tower of Babel and their descendants. One of the first things we learn about Noah, Noah in Hebrew is he was righteous of his generation, which our sages think about a lot. Was he only righteous relative to a poor generation? Or would he have been righteous if he had been a contemporary, say, of Abraham? Generally, they fall on the side that Noah was just righteous for his time, not an eternally righteous person. That the righteousness of his character was not a truth so much as a comparison. One of the things they point to, and I think it's fair to say, is that when God asks Abraham, or God suggests to Abraham, that God's going to destroy Sodom, Gomorrah, and the cities of the plain, Abraham pleads with God for the safety of those people. When God tells Noah that God will destroy the entire world, Noah says, how big a boat do you need? And takes many years to build it, without once questioning the righteousness of God's decision or enjoining those around him to repent and to be saved and rescued from the imminent destruction of all humankind. It's a good lesson for every age. Righteousness really isn't about following God's commands but about sharing what is good in the world and protecting others, looking out for their welfare, and even challenging God on behalf of those less fortunate, on behalf of the vulnerable. In this day and age, a difficult pandemic and a contested election, it's a reminder to think less of ourselves, or at least to think less often about ourselves, and to stretch to care for those, the least, the last, and the lost, among us who are most vulnerable, to look out for each other. So just as Noah failed to, I invite you to care for each other, to think first of the world around you before you worry about your own safety each time. God bless. When you enjoy talks like this and others like it, please do like, share, and subscribe to Eclectic Cleric, one word, on YouTube. Shabbat Shalom.